story that is hard to fathom. A man whose young daughter was hit and killed in a crosswalk is now recovering after he was hit by a car. He was hit while he was riding his bike. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Since Sydney Olson died just last year, her parents have channeled their grief into action by pushing to make our streets safe. As WBZ's Christina Rex shows us, this crash is a painful reminder of how far we have to go. I've got serious swelling here. Eric Olson is banged up but alive after being hit by a truck while riding his bike Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, you can see it just ripped off the wheel. Your entire life is in slow motion and for a moment you don't know what if you're going to make it out. He says he was riding his bike down Woburn Street in Andover when a pickup truck ran a stop sign while turning left. Eric swerved to avoid it and the truck caught his back wheel and threw him. <laughs> An emotional Eric took to social media to share that experience. The driver stopped and got a ticket for running the stop sign, but the crash brought back a flood of memories. I immediately started thinking of my daughter and just unbelievable that I'm in this situation. His daughter, Sydney, was killed by a tractor trailer while crossing the street on her scooter in this Andover intersection in 2023. Her sweet face, the driving force behind Sydney's Rainbows, the family's organization that advocates for pedestrian safety. Mostly what I've learned since my daughter was killed is that our roads are designed to get traffic through. They're not designed for people like me on a bike or my daughter on a scooter. In 2022, more than 7,500 people died in pedestrian crashes nationwide and 67,000 people were hurt. Olson advocates for safer cars and safer street design. He says the deaths of the Gaudreau brothers and what would have been his daughter's seventh birthday were painful reminders this week. I'm sitting there on the side of the road, banged up, not knowing what's where I am physically, and all I could think of was my daughter. And just so sad that she had to experience that and, then, and sad that she didn't get a second chance like I did. The work the Olson family has already done has made this intersection here in Andover where Sydney died safer. For a list of all the work they're doing as well as bills they're advocating for at the federal level, you can head to our website, WBZ.com. In Andover, Christina Rex, WBZ News.